Okay, here we go. So, air show pilots need to practice whether they have any upcoming shows or not. If you're in this business, it's not just, even if you fly once a year, you still have to keep the same G-tolerance up and you still have to practice. Isn't that crazy? So it doesn't matter if you fly 25 shows a year, if you fly one show, if you lose your G-tolerance, you're in trouble because it's going to take you longer and longer to get it, get it back. So you've got to pull Gs and especially pushing negative Gs to keep your G-tolerance up. So that's what I'm doing today because I don't have any shows. Oshkosh was next week. Uh, Battle Creek was a few weeks ago. Um, Kansas City was going to be my next one, and that canceled too. So. No, actually, Al's Head, uh, Maine was going to be my next one, that canceled. Pretty bummed about that one too, so. Let's have to go practice. And St. Austin Tower, extra one whiskey mic ready for the box. 791 Whiskey Mike, Shawshank Tower, left turn into the box, show with Alpha 2, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, one Whiskey Mike. Potential aircraft, St. Austin Airbag, box active, surface to 3500. Okay, box is active, here we go. We are on the acro tank. I'm just going to hold it down over the runway and get some speed and pitch up over and out. And here we go, yeehaw! Oh, isn't that a pretty view? Oh, what am I gonna do? It's just so pretty. Sometimes I get distracted by the beauty. To the east side of the runway, runway. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'll start with some basic stuff. Let's do the basics that are in our basic aerobatics. Clear for volume one. Making right traffic for runway one. Or basic aerobatics volume two, which is a loop. A roll and a spin. Just to get Just to get warmed up. Here we go. I'm just going to make a big float into the wind, maintain my altitude, my energy. And I'm going to climb up this mountain too before I do a spin. I think I'll just go vertical. Okay, the right base, one, three, five, one, you And then go to the There we go. And, Pull the power back. The clouds coming up, okay. Get it slowed down. I'm just gonna do like a wonder. Hey, you know, our next video is gonna be basics part two, and I'm gonna do a half cubic. We're going to do an Edelman, we're going to do a half reverse cube. And you may see aerobatics to the left side of the runway. Stay rolling. And we're going to do a split S. So let's see what those look like. I'm going to start with a Edelman. Pitch up. This is a half loop. With a half roll. Washington Tower, proceed inbound. You may see a decap on uh, 10 o'clock and 4 miles. Yeah, the next one's going to split up. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit. One, three, you'll be off your left front end up. And then pull through. And I'm going to do a half cubit. Which is 5 eighths of a loop. And then pull out, and I'm going to do a half reverse Cuban, which is pulling up to 45 degrees. I'm a little steep there, but that's okay. This is air show flying, not competition. I'm allowed to be steep. Last thing you want to do is be shallow. 
then you lose altitude and you're too fast and you pull through. Those are the basics. I feel pretty good, actually. I was wondering how my G tolerance would be. Let's see. <laughs> nice tight turn. Nice tight turn. The snap roll. And I was a little over. Oh my god. I do need to practice. We'll turn around. Try that snap and a half again. Then I'll get down low in the water and maybe buzz some of these fishing boats in the box. They like it. I say they like it. There we go. Looking for a helicopter, 65 Bravo. 65 Bravo, thank you. Uh, cross uh, a little short. One more time. Should be fine. I'll do a three quarter snap. Okay, uh, can you please repeat that, 65 Bravo? And the 65 Bravo. Hold it there. Downwind, power discretion, right downwind, and uh, the traffic is no factor for. Okay, traffic. Let's get down making, in the weeds here. Making downwind right now, 65 Bravo. Then we'll climb back up and do a couple more maneuvers. I can feel my arm. I've, I've been working out, but you never get as in good a shape as when you're doing aerobatics because you got to use all your arm muscles and your shoulder muscles. And people are like, wow, you work out a lot. In the summer, I normally don't do much of any uh, arm exercises at all, except this summer, summer of COVID. Do a nice half roll converted. Yeah. I'm a couple hundred feet above the ground. I think I'll push up. See how my negative detolerance is. Oh my gosh. Yep. I need to practice. Number two and here, what missed approach were you given? There we go. So this isn't our normal airship plane, this is our school airplane. And uh, I haven't actually flown the show in this airplane. It doesn't have smoke. It's a great school airplane. It's a little like uh, old paint. Paint's not that great, which which is nice. So we don't have to worry about when people get in and out. You know, their feet are dirty. You know, tracking on the wings, this kind of thing. So it's a perfect school airplane. Maybe not a perfect air show plane, but it does the trick. Same. Keeping your G tolerance up. I'm gonna get down nice and low. All right, now we're at about 100 feet. Low inverted. And I'm gonna turn. Do a nice outside turn. Oh, and back over to sort of a modified Humpty Bump. And there's the box. There's the runway. This is so awesome. I'm so lucky to be doing this. You know, I always say that you get the most freedom for the most discipline. I know it sounds really corny and uh, like a little platitude-ish. But I always think about it when I'm flying air shows, flying or aerobatics, because I've spent so much time practicing the basics. And the more you practice, the more you get out of it, and the better it feels when you can just roll, roll around the horizon like that without. Oh, there's some clouds. Ooh. It really, there's really a payoff in practice, you know? Well, let's see, a few more. A couple more low level stuff, and then. I'm gonna get low on fuel. So it's a beautiful morning here in St. Augustine. It's one of the nicest mornings we've had, I think. It's a week before Octave. Or I should say, it's Oscars week, and here we are, everybody's flexing. This is actually, it's been a good challenge actually. Here we go. A good challenge to see how resourceful we can be. And Sporties is being really resourceful. 
with their virtual air show week. And I'm really happy to be part of it. And I'm really excited about people watching our new video. I'm so psyched about it. And I hope that people put reviews up and, and contact me directly if you want. Just Patty at Patty Wagstaff. Just Patty, Patty Wagstaff.com. Or go to my website at pattywagstaff.com and just let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you learned anything from it, how much you like it, what we could do better because we're coming out with more. Somebody's on the radio talking about aerobatics. Yeah, it's nice to cover one whiskey mic ready anytime to land. And then one whiskey mic, your number two flying Cessna, short final, they're a full stop. Number two, runway one, three, clear to land. One, three, clear to land, one whiskey mic. And I got the traffic. I think it'll buzz our hangar. And number two, one, Terry, you can start the left turn for your so main contact departure. There's our little, their Southeast Aero, that's the extra dealer for the U.S. There's our hangar over there. I hope people are waving. And there's our traffic. And I see little pits down there. This little airplane, you know, for a school airplane, performs pretty well. They're almost down. I think I'll put a little slip in this thing to slow it down. And there we come. I always put a slip in this thing. So I can't really see over the nose when I get slower. Seven number two now. One way one. Push a little rudder over to the right. Little stick over to the left to hold it there. Yes, undercarriage, mixture, and prop is in. I never pulled it back out. Kept it at full prop setting the whole time. Well, Mr. Mike left one able, contact ground. Well, Mr. Mike, thanks. Go on the ground. Thanks, Sporties, for setting this up with your awesome cameras. Thank you, Spencer Suderman, for getting all the cameras to work. Thank you, Alan Moore, for everything and helping me uh, unload all that fuel that we had in here. We had full fuel in here yesterday. I'm like, oh, I can't really go up and fly air show stuff with full fuel. So 